So that lock, oh, so it, it twists? No, I just pushed it into the seal. So you just pull it back out and then yeah. the O-ring. Yeah, I saw that come loose. It, it was in the tube one time. Yeah. So put it in again, let me see how it works. Oh, you, what do you mean? Just to see oh, this level. Because I again. checked the color of it. Look at the color of it. Yeah, it's old. Been in it all the time. It turns brown after a while. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty low, huh? Wow, could be all the way up here depending on the temperature of the oil. Yeah. It's pretty hot. I've been driving it. So, so much for them saying a few ounces makes a big difference because it shifts nice. It's a nice shift. Yeah, I don't, even at 80, I wouldn't put it up this high. Because as soon as you get on the freeway and start driving, it's too high. It's going to blow out the overflow. I, I keep it down about about to right there. Yeah, so inch and a quarter. 80 inch is and three not quarter. 80 on the coolant gauge. 80 is a trans temp. And that doesn't get, uh, it won't get up to 80 till you're. Really? You know, you've been driving 40. And I'm just going to drive it around the area after I change yeah. it to check the level. Sounds good. All right, your gentlemen, thank you very much. Oil change time. There's the old cartridge. You can still see through it. And the new one. Nice and fresh wicks. Even comes with a couple of new O-rings. Look at that. There's a lot of oil in this motor, and I bought the cheapest drain pan at Walmart, two dollars and ninety-seven cents, and it is so flimsy, it's as thin as a coffee can. Grounds jug or thinner. Tip it over and it just it seems like it's gonna fall apart. Anyways, this thing holds 8.5 quarts, nine liters of oil. And there's no depression in the pan for the oil to run to one side. So it just drips and drips and drips. We're changing the oil. Next is the transmission oil. Got my dipstick all figured out. Walnut Creek, California. Got my cartridge oil filter with my long gizmo thingy with my O-rings. Three O-rings and one at the top. Four O-rings total in the package. Change the oil. Change the transmission fluid. Crank that baby up and head for home. Like I'm in a rush, huh? Well, I'm dripping oil in the motor, but it'll be fluid filmed. I may drive this this winter. We'll see. Fluid film it. Suburban's not going anywhere with no transmission. One gear, basically. All right. Let's crank that baby up. <laughs> Change the oil. Whew. What the heck is that for? New O-rings are installed. There's one extra in the little bag. There's a little one at the end, a medium one, a larger one, and a giant one. And the bag came with two medium ones. So I've got one extra medium O-ring. Anyhow, we'll just slap her back together, put my oil into a jug, spraying my gloves with carburetor cleaner, and I'm listening to Fresh Air with Terry Gross. Doug Berman is discussing Ray Mayotzi, who passed away. Car Talk, what a great show. Alzheimer's ravages the brain like rust. Shame, 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 what a great show. All right, let's put this thing back together. Put a bit, I put a bit of oil on the O-rings. You can't fill it because I think it just runs into the engine. So there's no filling the filter housing. Just put this thing in and crank her down. I have to go to O'Reilly's and use a giant slip joint pliers. We've got to put some oil on that top seal. We'll All right, here up. comes the oil. Got the pan off without dumping it on my friend's nice garage floor. Let's see what we got. Let's see what mud is in this pan. It's hard to see because we don't have the best light, but it's not looking too good. I'll put it in the jug and we'll review. No piles of brass or paper, just lots of little stuff. I'll do a flash picture see what it looks like. Alright, let's see what this stuff looks like. Take a sample on my pen knife and put it on the inside of the bottle cap. Looks like engine oil. Yuck. I wonder when this lasts was changed, if ever. I've been posting on MB World forum and some of the guys just can't believe it. a guy like me that drives a bunch of junk would have a beautiful over-engineered, maybe it's a, <laughs> engineered for abuse, Mercedes and I shouldn't be putting just any oil in, I should be using the finest quality material. There's a little bit of deposits in that corner. Not too much junk at the bottom of the pan, just very, very minimal wear and tear. We'll dump it into this two-gallon jug and uh, next drain the torque converter, put it all back together and maybe put a coat of wax on it before we leave tomorrow for the great white northeast. Yuck. Snow. Ice. Salt. 
cold, numb hands, toes. No flip flops, that's for sure. All right, let's put this, clean this, and put it back together. And drain the torque burger. Sludgy, sludgy, sludgy. Too bad it's so dark in this garage. Yep, sludge. Deteriorated clutch material. There's the old filter. I've already plugged it so I can dispose of it without it leaking all over the place. And here's the new one, made in Taiwan. 16 bucks. Hey ho on Taiwan. 16 bucks with a rubber, thick rubber gasket. Boy, this oil has never been changed, I don't think. I think it's original 423,000 mile oil. Oh, it's got a name on it. The name says... Made in Germany, IBS Filtran. It's stamped 3-4, then a much lighter 0-6, then 8. 3-4, stamped deeply, and then a 0-6, much more lightly, and then an 8, maybe? Oh. No. The pan has a thick ridge around the circumference, it uses a thick rubber gasket and these bolts that grip the edge of the pan, the lip, and you're not really tightening the pan, what you're doing is lifting up the pan on the ridge of the pan. So you're not distorting the pan. That little slot lifts up the pan. Got a big thick gasket that doesn't stay on very well. Could have used some silicone just to hold it in place. Anyhow, I got it. Now I gotta put the bracket that holds the oxygen sensor connectors in place and figure out where this double bolt holder upper goes. And fill it with oil, engine oil and transmission. And uh, maybe could have put a coat of wax on, we'll see. Got my tools. I'm working, listening to the radio on the computer. And got the bolt. Oh, it's dark down here. Got the bolt out of the torque converter, the plug. It's an Allen key, not a Torx. We're draining the torque converter. How sweet is that? The plug for that was dry. Plastic plug that lets you have access. There it is. Converter plug. Where is it? This LED light doesn't light effectively for a camera. It fools the camera. Plug in the torque converter. Drain the oil. The mud. The sludge. Shouldn't affect the operation of the transmission. People say that changing the oil in an old transmission dislodges things. I don't believe that. It isn't like they're scrubbing bubbles in the oil. It's just circulating around. Best thing is to change it once every year or two. Whoever does that, even the guy that owned this or the woman, not maintained, surprisingly. Where is it? There it is. No rust. Except the tops of the doors. Gotta put the dust shield on. Fill it up with oil. Yummy. Fresh transmission oil. First time in maybe 15 years. Yummy. Look at that mud. Oh, that crappy drain pan is going to overflow. Wonderful. Joke. Too hard to see. Not enough light. Crank her down. Boy, putting in that, putting in that tranny oil is a pain. The tube is half the size of a normal tube and you have to let the air out while you're pouring it in. And it goes in real slowly. Painfully slowly, but... Time to put her down. Whee! Down, down, down. Little made in China hydraulic jack. I have a little noise in that front bearing. I'm going to play that for you. Beep, 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 beep. Hang on, I'm going to jack it back up and play the noise in the front wheel bearing. See what you think. I have been working on this thing. What time is it? It is 10.51. Started at 6. Five hours to change the engine oil and the transmission oil. Of course, I don't have 
perfect facilities here. Uh, let's try this side. Let's see what you think. Loose the wheel bearing, ball joint. Steering feels real tight. Maybe the uh, tie rod end. Twenty-three thousand miles. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Tie rods. There's gotta be something worn on this thing. Well, whatever. As long as it makes the trip back. Three thousand. Miles, 5,000 kilometers. Tranny's all filled up. Heat shield or dust shield or is back in place. I'll put the top engine cover on and go for a little test drive in the nice hood <laughs> at 11.